Hey there, Quantum Terror supporters. Uh, this is actually a video that's directed at everybody that supported the Quantum Terror, whether it be Indiegogo, the actors, the crew, uh, my investor Doug Mayfield, um, everybody. <laughs> I have a finished film. Pretty much. There are a few things that are issues that I'm trying to correct, but I wanted to let you know that this is a movie that you can watch all the way through now, and I'm really happy with it. It is by no means perfect. It is by no means uh, what I originally thought I could accomplish. In some ways, it's more than I thought I could accomplish. And that is just stunning to me to, to sit down and watch it and realize that this has been a culmination of um, the actor's hard work. Uh, Jenna Green, who did the special effects makeup, Anthony Gutierrez, who is the director of photography, Derek Hunt, who is doing the lion's share of the music and sound design. Heather Lowe, who created amazing miniatures, which turned out seamless uh, with the cuts of the actual full-size sets. It all came together in a way that I am really happy with. So, yeah, I, I watched this film all the way through, and I was stunned. Uh, and and I'm not saying that as a, hey, you know, patting myself on the back. It really was a collective effort, and it was a privilege and a joy to be able to put all these different elements together created by all of these really great, talented people and uh, and turn it into something that starts off as a, conventional horror movie and then evolves into a dream and i don't mean the dream come true is in uh you know it was my dream to make my first feature length film i mean this movie really captures what it means to go down the rabbit hole uh which is something a phrase we've been using throughout uh it's incredible what it's turned into I really want to give a shout out to the actors, uh, Kristen Koschel, who is the star, Paula Sollinger, who is the co-star, along with Matt Blackwell, Jordan Michael Brinkman, uh, Demetrius Polito, and Val Merrick. You guys all did amazing work. And it was, uh, you know, a lot of it, <laughs> I got to say, this movie was originally like two and a half hours long when I cut it all together. So a lot of it, what they did got cut out, but I really made sure that the, the best of their work, the best narrative uh, came out of the final cut, which comes under 90 minutes. Um, I, I really wanted to shorten this film and get the most out of it. So um, there are still a few bugs that I'm working out. So I'll talk a bit about those, just so you know. I have to create the end credit sequence, um, which is not going to be a big deal. It's it's a it's a minor thing to create an end credit sequence. I just have to put together all the names. Uh, so many people did so many different things on this, so a lot of people are going to be getting multiple credits. I have to go through the list of everything. Uh, I wrote down everything that everyone did create those credits. Those credits are going to roll to a song by my uh, friend Dave Graves' band, Frankenstein. The title track is uh, She Casts No Shadow, which is uh, very appropriate to this movie. So um, that's one thing that still has to be done. The big thing I'm trying to sort out at the moment is what's called QC, Quality Control for Distribution. Uh, because a lot of this movie takes place underneath the roads and tunnels there's a lot of dark scenes what i'm finding is i'm having an issue with with when uh the movie is compressed to uh go on to a, a blu-ray or to be transmitted for video on demand it's a bit dark 
It's kind of like Aliens vs. Predator Requiem. You can't see what's going on in some of the scenes. This is something that I am finding out is a common problem with uh, movies getting ready for distribution, and there are fixes to it. I just have to figure out what those fixes are. Um, I may have to spend a little extra money working with a quality control person. Uh, that ranges anywhere from consulting one for 90 minutes for $100 to um, actually hiring a quality control company. I'm told that there's one that uh, does the work for about $700, so I have to come up with that money. Um, if I go with traditional distribution, I will also have to pay for what's called errors and omissions insurance. Um, but, uh, that may or may not be the issue. I may self-distribute. Um, I do want to see this on Amazon and Tubi and some other video on demand platforms. There will be Blu-rays. There will be, um, I, I promised DVDs, I think, originally, but I think we're in the era of Blu-rays now. I, th I think um, instead of having, like, regional DVDs, we can have Blu-rays that play uh, globally. So, and I am going to, for my Indiegogo supporters who have been so patient this entire time, I am going to try and come up with some extra rewards extra rewards that were never promised uh to thank you for being so patient and so supportive this entire time uh by the way voices of evil supporters um if you if you pledge that level uh i'm really pleased with everyone's performance and you guys bring the creepy in an additional layer of sound to this movie um, and the audio, again, that's, that's one of the things, um, sound design took a long time, but we finally figured some stuff out. Derek Hunt's music, uh, I've been told by a few people. And by the way, I should mention before I go any further, I have sent this movie out to a few people. I've sent it out to my producer, Doug Mayfield. I've sent it out to the actors so they can see it. And, uh, I have sent it to possible distribution. So, um, yes, there is possible distribution if I don't decide to self-distribute. I'm going to see what they uh, come back and and uh, say. One of the people, I said, you know, this is a very weird movie and it might be a bit too weird for your distribution company. And they, you know, wrote back, too weird for our company? That's got to be pretty weird. So I I'm hoping they like it. If you are a fan of uh, movies like, Alien and the Things, but also David Cronenberg and David Lynch movies. Uh, I think this is really going to um, be something that you'll enjoy. Again, I'm really proud of this. I'm really proud of everyone. I'm really proud of the actors. Again, uh, I think that this might be a movie that launches some careers because their performances were that good. And this movie is, I I'm just going to say it, this movie is really good in like i said in a weird way it's not hollywood passable most general audiences would watch it and go what the heck am i watching i don't understand what just happened but if you are into surrealism if you're into art house if you're into uh anything like that if you're into just different films that that are provocative and make you think about what you watch and make you wonder and maybe if you watch it with friends discuss what it may mean afterwards this movie's great I, again i sound like i'm patting myself on the back it took me almost six years to finish this movie it was worth it it's great i think it's going to launch uh like i said some careers for um actors maybe some other people it'll give their career a boost who are behind the camera they all did that great uh, so the other issue, like I said, I talked about, let's say the credits need to be done. I talked about the issue with darkness, um, playback for quality control. Uh, the other issue is poor Derek Hunt, who has, like I said, um, now that I'm getting a couple of comments back, um, about the music that those com that everyone said Derek's music sets the tone. Once these characters really get into it, Derek's music is there and it really pulls you into the, again down the rabbit hole and uh derek has been working so hard uh at his 
regular job. Um, he's also had some plumbing issues. Uh, that's a whole story in itself. Um, Derek has been had a lot to contend with on top of supporting this movie, and I should give a special shout out to him because I, I want to say this movie wouldn't have made it without him. He um, supplied computer equipment when my computer uh, went kaput. He did uh, IT support to make sure that I had the computing power to finish this. He put his own money into this film, uh, buying equipment and software so he could do the music. He has um, he has sent me stuff when I uh, when I didn't know what I needed. Derek was like, "Oh, I've got this thing. This is going to help you." I won't go into specifics of it, but he's like, "I've got this thing. I'm going to mail it to you." You know, Derek really has been a major patron of this film and uh i'm gonna say we're the same age but he's been uh a a patron to me as an artist and a mentor in helping me understand more about what i was doing both technically and artistically um he's a great mind and i really appreciate him so much um and i i should i should go through the litany of all the people who have done similar things you know uh, doug mayfield and i have had great discussions about the film and other films that we're planning to work on in the future uh that have really i think improved uh storytelling um everybody has had great input this this film is a culmination of so many different talents and that's why I'm not really afraid to say this movie is fantastic because I'm not saying it in a way of like, it was all me, I'm a genius, I made it fantastic. No, these people all gave me material that I could work with and, and put together in a way that uh, one person cannot do on their own. So um, I hope everybody is proud of this movie and... I'm very proud of all of you. I'm very proud and honored to have uh, put this movie together with you. Anyway, uh, the Oscars would have played me off by now. This movie's not winning an Oscar. It has its limitations. It is definitely a low-budget movie, but at the same time, this movie looks like it costs way more than it did, again, because of the talent involved and the imagination, the creativity. We really created something that is a testament to how you can put something amazing together on a low budget. So everybody that's looking forward to seeing this movie, who's been waiting all this time, the wait is almost over. It was all worth it. And um, I say that unironically, proudly, and excitedly because I want to bring this movie to you all and show you it and, uh, and then do it all over again and even better the next time. Um, this is very exciting to me, and I know this is a time that a lot of people feel is not very exciting, and uh, people are very worried about a lot of things, and all I can say to that is, it's a, well, it's a quote from Ray Bradbury, by doing things, things get done. We've got to just keep moving forward. Don't keep blaming your life on a, on a year, a number, or, you know, there are, everyone goes through hard times. Every society goes through good times and bad times, just like people do. Uh, by doing things, things get done. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. Have some faith that things can be created. And look, hey, you know, even if they made uh, independent filmmaking illegal tomorrow, I would, I'd probably like have an independent filmmaking speakeasy uh, where I screened movies underground or in fields or something like that it's like this stuff is not going away our ability to do this stuff is not going away um and we have to be able to tell the people who say we can't do it no you can't tell me what to do we're going to do this so um the quantum terror is coming very soon one way or another getting it out there that's the update thanks guys um Questions, comments, shoot them my way. I'm happy to answer them. It's been a long struggle, a long road, but it was worth it, and I'd do it again. So thanks. <laughs>